So what I had was, a, I've got a fridge, the door doesn't close, it doesn't look like it's the seals, the seals are okay, but our milk was going off, so I figured the door wasn't actually closing properly. Look for signs of wear. You've got a crack in the fridge, proves broken hinge. Look around, fridge magnet. Perfect for the job. Fold it four times. Under the hinge, job done. Do you really think you're gonna make much money from this? I could. I, I don't expect to make millions. Um, what's important to me is, is to help people and to help everyday people. Look, here we have a standard security door. Supposed to keep burglars out, not old ladies in when there's a fire, but it's a health hazard. So what I've done is tied the handle, which we were losing for at least three years, to a piece of string. It's a piece of string which could save a life. Poke it in the hole, door open, old lady's free. I mean, some fixes can be basic and other fixes need to be more elaborate. Um, I'm not always going to expect to, for every fix to work the first time. Problems with your lawn, all you need is some self-raising flour, white and unbleached. Just sprinkle a couple of handfuls across the lawn. 25, 35% increased success rate. Helps germination, it's the thymine in the flower. Don't need to sift it, remember unbleached. And one week later, we've got a nice bed of grass. For too long, we've been tricked into thinking that we need to spend hundreds of dollars on, on home maintenance services and, and home improvement um, companies, but we can we can fix things ourselves. We, we finish from the kitchen, the bathroom. Here is a leaking shower. I mean, this is a pretty serious issue, but it's been leaking for quite some time. Maybe we can fix it. So what we need to do is find something to create our mixture with, something to seal the bottom of the shower. So if you look in here, just just think of think of a powder that'll that'll bind. All right, self-raising flour, unbleached. Very important, unbleached and self-raising. Um, peanut butter can act as a binding agent. The oil in the in the in the peanut butter will will probably help. Don't bother sifting it. Just pop it straight in the saucepan. Just a couple of cheeky dollops, like that. Bit of peanut butter. Just flop it in like that. Now you've got to be prepared to get dirty here because this is the most important part. Because what you need is the right consistency. So if you really mix it around like that, what you want is a ball. Now that's, that's looking pretty good, that's good enough to eat. Bring it down. It actually smells great too. It's one of the nicest, nicest smelling things. Now <clears throat> what's important is that you actually dry your surfaces before binding. Um, in the meantime, roll it into a, a chode-like shape. So the most important part of the, of the entire exercise is to actually roll it well. So. If you come in here, I'll show you how to actually prepare prepare your um your material. It's it's always good to roll it on the surface on which it's going to be sticking because it, it, it prepares the material to, to get used to that, that surface. Two hands and just just push it along like that. It's a very simple fix. It'll last for a, a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's it. So it's 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 simple as that. This is one of this is a perfect example of how easy it can be to fix, you know, everyday house problems. I mean, as you can see, it's dry. We've got another success. This is pretty ridiculous. No, that's just... <laughs> no, I think that's, I think I think that uh, that's a household fix. That's that's the whole point of this project. It's it's to help help people to fix household problems in a household way. So what we've got is a home PC, it's not turning on, absolutely no signs of life. So if you wobble the cable, listen for a couple of ticks. And if you've still got no, no signs, of, signs of life, cover off, check the insides for anything loose, and shake it hard. Nine times out of 10, that's your computer fixed. It's that simple. Yeah, well, James, necessity is the mother of invention. I think that's, that's a mantra that I've often lived on. So MacGyver, what uh, new experiment are we testing today? Today we're testing uh, the shaving cream on a windscreen. Uh, 
What, why are we testing this? It's uh, what brake car drivers use when their windscreen wipers don't work. It's like an emergency procedure and my windscreen wipers aren't working and haven't been working for a couple of weeks now. Are they not working? They're not working. They're not working. Can, we, can we see if they're not it's, working? It's just the driver's side at the moment. The passenger side works well. Um, what's that like when it's raining? Well, when it's raining, you can, you've got one of two options. You can either lean over and drive like this, and it's usually all right, but it still stops you seeing people on the far right of the road. One pushes all the gunk over one side. You've got to reach out and, and get it back up before it, before it hits. All right, so it's important to put a good amount of shaving cream all the way across the window and then massage it into the windscreen massage it well <laughs> so that the wax actually has a chance to stay and once you've massaged it you've got to let it wait for a second so what you want to do is wipe it in one clean swipe We're done. Do you think it'll work? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll work. I mean, it says the rally drivers use it. They use it all the time. I'm sure that they just get out and they just do this, just like this. I mean, you can see that there's a, that there's, you know, that, that film there. I mean, look, this is my life. It's, it's trial and error. It's been getting a bit wackier and wackier. Like at first it was like fairly useful, uh, but they've been getting more and more bizarre. Well, sometimes, sometimes you need a bit of creativity to get the job done. I mean, it's, it's not always going to be a, a linear solution. You need to think outside the square. You need to think laterally. I mean, now a common kitchen problem is lighting the stove. The clickers are provided, but they never work. You've never got a lighter, matches, anything. What I'm going to show you is a simple but effective solution to lighting your kitchen stove. A couple of splashes of olive oil, a couple of sprinkles of your dry chili flakes, hitch a couple of tissues, lightly scrunched, placed on the edge, not, not sinking in the olive oil, and the piece de resistance, aka the igniter, a good whack of alfoil placed carefully but firmly in the olive oil and touching the tissue. Chuck in the microwave, two to three minutes. Wait for a sec. Wait for a sec. Ah! Alright, we've got our tissue lit. Gas on! Dinner on the go, ladies and gentlemen, fire making 101. Um, I don't know, I reckon we haven't gone on a date in about six months, so, um, I don't know, I'd say we're broken, that probably needs a quick fix. I've been working on this book for over three years and in that time I've only solved 499 problems that leaves me with another 502 One man cannot solve all the world's problems. So, why bother with a thousand and one?